Hey guys and welcome to Graphic Designer Pro. In this video we're going to show you how to easily create monochrome images in Adobe Illustrator. Let's head onto the computer now and get started. Okay so here we are in Illustrator and as usual guys you can download this exact same template file from the link in the description and try these techniques out for yourself. So we're going to be creating monochrome images and if you're not familiar with that term all it means is an image that's made up of only black and white or black and white plus one colour. So would essentially be shades of a single colour. So this is very simple to do in Illustrator. We've just got two RGB JPEG images here that are obviously full colour and we'll show you why we've got two of the same image as we go through. But the first thing we need to do is make these black and white and this is very easy to do. So I'm just going to select the first one, go up to object, rasterize and then from the colour model drop down we want to select grayscale. Now all I need to do is click OK and that's going to convert our colour image to black and white. So this is now essentially essentially a monochrome image. You can do the same with the other one here. So to apply a colour to these now, this is also very easy to do. What I'm going to do is grab my rectangle tool and just drag out a rectangle to the same width and height as each of the images. And now I'm going to select a bright colour for the one on the left hand side. So I'm just going to double click on my fill option here and I'll choose a light blue colour for this example. Go something like that. And I want to send this to the back. So I want this to be behind the image. So I'm just going to right click, go to arrange and send to back. And now I'm going to use our blending modes in Illustrator. These are really useful. What I need to do is select my image, go over to my properties panel. If you don't have a properties panel, you can find it by going to window and properties. And then I'm going to click where it says opacity. And you'll see at the top left hand side of this panel, we have a drop down that says normal. And now within here, we have some different blending modes. So the blending mode I'm going to choose is multiply. And what this this basically does is it will reveal whatever is in behind where the lighter areas are. So the more white there is, the more of the background is going to show through. So in this case, we've got the blue color showing through. So this is still completely monochrome because it's just black and white plus this blue color. The reason we have a copy of this image is there's another blending mode we can use to do the same thing, but with the darker areas of the image. So again, I'm just going to grab my rectangle tool, drag out a rectangle over the top, and this time we'll choose a darker colour, so a dark blue colour like so. Again, I want to send this to the back, so right click, arrange, send to back. We'll select our image, click opacity again, and this time we're going to select screen. So you can see this is doing the same thing, but the white areas are staying white and the darker areas are revealing the blue colour in behind. These are two really cool techniques. Just remember multiply is for the light areas and screen is for the dark areas. Now if you wanted to flatten these back into a single image instead of having an image sitting over a colored rectangle we can just select both and go back up to object rasterize and this time we want to select the rgb option because we're working in an rgb document if i click ok this is now being converted back to a single rgb image but it is still a monochrome rgb image so there you have our very simple technique using blending modes in illustrator to create monochrome images if you have any questions do let us know in the comments down below and if you enjoyed the video remember to hit the like button. If you haven't already subscribe for more weekly design content and if you'd like to know more about our full graphic design course visit graphicdesignerpro.com. See you next time.